Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at Pool Test Strip Scanner available for the iPhone and the iPad. So go ahead and open up the app and what it's going to do is launch your camera and you can see this blue line in the middle of the screen. What you need to do with that is actually line it up with your pool test strip. We need to make sure that our points are exactly lined up. So get right here, line up the top and bottom points and then snap the photo. So once you've actually correctly scanned it, what's going to happen is it's going to show you all of your values. Now these values are going to depend upon the chlorine levels, acidity, and hardness of the water. For accurate results, you should actually follow the instructions on the strip packaging, which is the amount of time the strip should be in contact with the water in the pool, and the amount of time after removing the strip from the water to read the results. So your results will vary upon the strip that you're using. And for this one, you can see the hardness, the chlorine levels, the free chlorine, the pH, the alkalinity, and even the acid levels. And we can see that I have some that range from low to ideal to very high and even high. And now that I have these results, what I can do is actually save them. Tap the save button in the top right hand corner. It's going to save our results and we can tap thanks. And now what we can do is tap done and it brings us back out and it shows us the strip that we last scanned. Now what I can do is if I tap the shutter button, we're going to go ahead and do a new test. It'll give us a warning that anything we have not saved will be discarded and we'll just tap on new. Now, as I mentioned earlier, your results are going to vary upon your pool and test strip that you're using. Now, if you've taken a fresh sample, you can actually start a timer. It's going to count down from 15, which is a typical amount of time to let a test strip rest before scanning. Now, again, this is going to vary depending upon the strip that you're using, but 15 seconds should be a good amount of time. And then come in here and scan your next strip. We'll line up our two dots, and then I'm going to take my photo. Now it's going to scan that one. I can see all my results. And what I can do now is save this one. I'll tap save. My results have been saved. Now tapping done will bring us back out to the photo of our actual strip. If I tap the question mark in the top left hand corner, I can see how to use the app and I get some tips recommended to use the app itself. I can actually change my strip. I can do an aquatic check seven or the HTH six way. So depending upon the strip that you're using will also allow you to get your results in a different method. So make sure you selected the right strip from within inside here. You can always come back into your results by tapping in the bottom right hand corner from this screen. Notice the little icon with the levels tapping in there will show me all the results from my strip. Tap done and the file in the top right hand corner from here will show me all my saved tests. I see the date and also the type of strip that I was using. If I tap on that, it'll show me what my scales were for that specific test. So that way I can refer back, say if I tested one week and come back the next week and test, I'll be able to see what the results were from week to week, even day to day. This all varies upon how often you're going to test. And then to create a new test, again, come back out to this menu, tap the shutter button, tap on new, and it's going to open up that camera and allow you to go ahead and test again. So once again, this application is called Pool Test Strip Scanner. If you like it, pick it up for your iPhone and iPad in the App Store.